before I do a large parts order I want to actually do a bit of measuring first thing I want to do is measure the cylinder and make sure that's all right that includes the pistons and everything before I can even do that I need to clean them look at that a bit crusty so I need to get all of that off so it's going to be the old acetone and uh, transmission fluid let them soak in that for half an hour and then we'll get all the clag off and see where we stand on what size we have so I need to get that last little thing out of there like that it's just falling out where's that no that's a different one it's the other one where's that I think gone. there it is So riff, riff, riffly, roughly 50-50 acetone and automatic transmission fluid. Spill off the acetone. Smells lovely. What I'm gonna do this is the worst one. I'm just gonna dunk that one in there. There's a mixy stick. High quality mixy stick. Do. going to dunk that one straight in there like that. Right, I've put gloves on for this bit because I've got some cuts on my hands and that's a temp really stings when it gets in there. Just a bit of scotch bright on that one. It shouldn't take much cleaning up. Five minutes later. Right, so that one's cleaned up quite well. Ended up using one of these little soft wire brushes just to get in there. I'm going to put these in the ultrasonic bath, but there's a part number on that 74-3778A, and there's also an H. Remember the H for later on. So I'm going to have a look at that part number and see what they are. One minute later. So, a quick bit of googling. These are standard pistons, so I think everything should be a standard size on the bore, which is a good little indicator. So, can we see how the other one's getting cleaned up? Get off. This one's a bit crustier. You notice I've got rid of the gloves because they melted. Again, that looks like the same part number. I'm going to leave these to soak, well, this one to soak for half an hour. And we'll get hopefully get the rest of this carbon off it. Had oh, a good jump in ring, bugger off down the back of the lathe. And however, how I don't know, I found it. How mad's that? You get in your box now, in your box, not on the table. There we go. So, whilst that piston is soaking, I'm going to have a look at the cylinders. Now, there should be a marking in this little area here that says HRL which is basically low quality or high quality. However, I cannot see a marking anywhere. There isn't much of a tolerance. Where's my bit of paper gone? Uh, the bores, it varies between 75.992 and 75.979, or the high quality is 76.007 to 75.994. So it's got to be one of those so I'm gonna to have to look I reckon it's going to be towards a higher end look judging by the pistons so I'll get the ball gauge or telescope in snap gauge thing and we'll have a quick measure up to see where we stand right there's a reason why I'm measuring in millimeters because most of my measuring kit is metric Straight Sydney. 75.93. Look at a different angle. There is easier ways of doing this. I like to do it the hard way. 5.93. It's 
5.92, that could just me holding it wrong. Right, so which way around of it? That's the front, so that is number what? Number two. Sharpie, 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 sharpie. Anything will do. Any colour will do. Gauges. Point nine three. Yeah. Right. So they're all seventy five point nine three. I'm happy with them. Consistent in the middle so far. He says. Right. I've gone out and bought one of these cheap ball gauges. I'm not a professional with these by a long shot, but what I've done, I've set that to 75.93, which is the diameter of both balls. I've put it in there, set it, and I've set it to zero, um, a full millimetre on the scale round there. And I'm just basically going to check it on three sides, just to see if the ball's tapered. See how much variance we've got. So if I push it in that way. Right. All being well, hopefully I've got you in a position where you can see what I've done. Can you get you on there? Upright, it's that's pretty much upright, but just a shade under zero there, aren't we? Let's move that that way a bit. Oh, it's tipping. I think we're there. So, top of the bore. Let's move the camera up a bit so you can see. On zero. There it is. Go back. So we're there, yeah. Near us, damn it. Come down into the middle a bit where we're rocking it. We've got that same point. Down to the bottom. There's what? A tenth? Sorry, a hundredth, which is basically a micron in it. There ain't a lot of difference on that. And then I come round, and I'm going to do it at a different angle. Then we can turn that around a bit for you, see if you can see. So that's at a slightly different angle. Move me indicator a bit of a night. Probably me. Come down in the middle. So a very, very, very minor taper towards the bottom on that bore. So I'll go across onto the other and have a look. That's very similar, actually. Let's spin that around for you. Top again. Bit more on that, not a huge amount. Let's spin that around again. Just under the zero, go down the middle. Well, you'd expect the way near the top anyway. Down to the bottom. 
I'm happy with that. I'm very, very minor taper on both bores. I'm more than happy with that. Right, that's probably not the way to use a bore gauge like that, but from my understanding, it's shown I've got no significant taper on the bores. They will need a deglaze, as you can see in there. So I will get some honing stones for that and literally just take off the glaze so we can get a bit of oil retention on the bores again. So I'm happy with that. But we need to compare it now to the pistons to make sure we have got the right clearance. So as you can see, we've got a bit of a scrape on there. All right, so ring gaps. So my compression rings should be 0.2 times to 0.35 of a millimetre. Right, we need to get them in square. Use a piston. Piston in square. Right, it's a bit tight on the top. Let's have a look. I push the piston in from here. Should have got that ring in square. Which it has. But I don't want to do it all the way down there. I want to go in a bit because remember there's a little bit of a, a lip on that. Let's try that again. And then I have my feeler gauge set to point set it's just on right, that's on point two five that goes in it's on point three five which is the maximum and it's not going in Ooh. A little bit tight on the point three five, so I'm happy with that one. Same again with another one. I've just caught that, haven't I? As I've lifted it up, because I'm an idiot. Is 0.25 it goes on. It's a little bit loose that one. Now you go for a new set of rings. The old scraper is the same. Spring's falling out, it doesn't matter. Oh yeah, I can see that's bigger. It's a lot bigger. It's huge. Five minutes later. Uh, still a bit loose. Right, new rings. I'm not even going to bother measuring the rest. So we'll get the pistons checked next. Clean piston. Seventy five point seven eight. They are actually under. Five point five nine. Let me get my my crummer on it. You sit there like that. 
These were digital, but they don't work anymore. Seventy five point eight two. And that I only really can see that. I said I'll read that. Oh, I don't know what, what not eight two. Eight five six eight seven. Seventy two point eight seven. Seventy five point eight seven. So it's just on the low end. You know what? Should we have some new pistons as well? New pistons it is. Just out of curiosity. Seventy five point eight four. Again, that one's under. So, new set of pistons it is. Oh, cost a few more quid in it. I'm having a bit of a sanity check here. What I'm redoing, I'm just rechecking my bores again. And rather with the digital caliper cages, I'm using these. Not the best position because I normally put this in the vise so I can do it. I'm doing it all cack handed so you can see me. We have got seventy five point I can hardly read that. I might, might actually be on seventy six point zero two. Let me do it again. Let's have another one. It's always good to have a sanity check. Reading on there, seventy five point nine eight, which is just within the low end tolerance or the lower quality tolerance, and it's going to be pretty much the same on that one, I think. Remember, right? slightly over but that could be me doing it wrong let's have another double check that's why it's always worth checking kids because my measurements are always crap right again yeah that's coming is 75.99 so there we are then, quick video I think, happy with the balls on that, just needed a bit of a deglaze, new pistons and rings which will get us a one set so that's probably about another 90 quid on the bill, but it needs doing, so that is that, I'm going to order some bits, bar humbub because it's nearly Christmas time, thanks for watching. <laughs>